next thing to talk about is how do we convert from one set of units to another set of units. So let's try that. Let's take, uh, let's see, I'll write down conversions here. Let's say uh, I've got a distance, and I'll use a variable. I'll say I've, I've got a distance of four feet. And I want to know how many inches is that? Here's how you do it. You say what you're looking for. You're looking for a distance. It's equal to four feet. I'm going to put parentheses around that. Now, if I want this answer in inches, inches will have to be on top. Don't use a diagonal line. Use a horizontal line when you do these conversions, or actually any fraction. So you know what's on top, what's on the bottom. On the bottom, I need feet to cancel out. I treat the units just like numbers. Now I say, okay, feet will cancel, I got inches. Now I plug it in, I plug in the conversion. There are 12 inches for one foot. So what I'm looking at is I'm really, I'm multiplying four feet by one because the thing on top, 12 inches, is the same as the thing on bottom, one foot. So I'm not changing the distance any, I'm just changing the units. Feet will cancel, and cancel those units out to make sure you got it right. And then multiply the numbers. I got 4 times 12 is 48, and I got inches. You want to do conversions this way all the time. Let's do a mass. I've got a mass of... Uh, 1,650 grams. Now, I want to convert that to kilograms. So, kilograms has to be the answer. So, I'll put kilograms on top. Grams have to cancel out, so they go on the bottom. Now, I say, okay, what's the conversion? Well, 1,000 grams on the bottom is the same as one kilogram on the top. Kilo means 1,000. And I, did I do it right? Sure, the grams cancel out. Now I've got 1,650 times 1 divided by 1,000. I've got 1.650 kilograms. Now those are pretty easy. They're straightforward in that I've just, uh, it's just a one-to-one -one correspondent of these units. Let's try something a little harder. I'm going to do an area, and then I'm going to do a volume. Let's say I've got a, um, let's see, let's say I've got an area of 500 centimeters squared, and I want to convert that to meters squared. Now, there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So I need meters on top. I need centimeters on the bottom. 100 centimeters is the same as one meter. But you know, that's not going to quite do it. I'm going to get rid of one of these centimeters, but there'll be one left. I've got two centimeters up here. It's centimeters squared. So I've got to do it again. I've got to multiply it by one meter over 100 centimeters, and that's going to cancel out the second centimeters. I had centimeters times centimeters up here. I have centimeters times centimeters on the bottom, so they cancel out. Now, my answer is going to be 500 times 1 divided by 100 times 1 divided by 100, and that's going to give me 0 0.05. And what are my units? I got meters times meters, which is meters squared. That's good, right? It gives me an area. So rather than just divide by 100, I've got to do it twice because there are two centimeters in here. Let's try a, let's try a volume. Let's say I got a volume. 
of uh, 350,000 cubic millimeters. A millimeter is pretty tiny. If you look down here, maybe I can zoom for you. There's my thumbnail. Actually, that's my thumbnail. Here's my fingernail. Better do this side. Okay. Now, between four and five, that's one centimeter. Those little hash marks there, that's a millimeter. Okay? Millimeters are pretty tiny. I've got 350,000 of those. Hey, this is kind of fun to play with. Let's convert it into uh, uh, cubic centimeters. So I've got 350,000 cubic millimeters. Now, let's see. One millimeter, ten, 10 millimeters is one centimeter, and so I've got, I've got to have centimeters on top, millimeters on bottom, because they have to cancel, and I want my answer in centimeters cubed. There are 10 millimeters in a centimeter, so I'm just multiplying it by one. I'm not changing the value, just the units. But that only gets rid of one of the millimeters. I've got to do it two more times. One centimeter per 10 millimeters. That'll get rid of another one of them. I've got one millimeter left still. One centimeter, ten millimeters. Okay, that'll get rid of all the millimeters. My answer will be centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. That's cubic centimeters. And so I'll have, uh, let's see, I'll wind up with 350,000 divided by 10, divided by 10, divided by 10. I didn't say times 1 because that doesn't change anything, right? That'll give me 350 centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. So I wind up with what seems like a much smaller number. Let me do one more. Let's do something in English units. That's a little more complicated, just because they don't have numbers of 10. But let's say I've got, let's say I've got area of 2 square feet, 2 feet squared. Now I want to convert that to square inches. Now shoot, you know, if I, if I look at that, for every square feet, every square foot, there are 12, 12 inches along here. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, well you can imagine. And then there are 12 this way. 12 times 12 is 144. 144 little inch squares in a one foot square. So let's try this out here. We've got two square feet. I'm going to multiply it by uh, inches, because I got I one inches on top, and I want feet to cancel. That's 12 inches per foot. If, well, that cancels one of them. I got to do it again. 12 inches per foot. That'll cancel out the rest of the feet. I'm going to get 2 times 12 times 12 would be 288 square inches. Now, another way to do that. Once you've had some practice at that, you might say, okay, area is two square feet, and I need inches squared on top, feet squared on the bottom, and there, I know there are 144 square inches in a square foot, and I'll get 288 inches squared. So that's another way to that's another way to get it after you get better. So let's see, that's uh, that's conversions. We've talked about the different units. Remember that the units are just as important as the numbers because if you don't know what the units are, then the numbers are meaningless. And you need to combine the numbers and the units in the same manner. Units cancel, they multiply just like the